Hi, my name is Sean. I know too much about things that don't really matter. This is my review of Blue Reflection Second Light. I'm not special, but what is special are the bonds that we made together. Blue Reflection is very good. The original subtitle for Blue Reflection is Tai. I wish they kept the Japanese naming instead. It describes the game's concept much better with that one word. There's a thread to tie everything together. Ao Hoshizaki is in a made up world that is ironically more logical than I expected for a magical girl story. Second Light cleverly adds a somewhat unexpected but simple element to a magical girl story that makes it fascinating. The world Ao Hoshizaki is in comprises of each heroine's memories. They are all there for a reason, they have a tie to each other. I would really prefer not to say that since it sounds like a major spoiler, but there isn't really any other way to put it. This was all planned and this was all made possible by magic, is a blend of realism that is made interesting by fantasy. It eases you into it by having you learn about the characters first before explaining the makeup of the world. It helps that the characters say themselves to not use human logic to understand or explain the actions or intentions of gods. All but one character were reflectors at some point. They have rings that grant them their powers by using their emotions. Battles are a hybrid of turn-based commands with real time limits. It's more interactive than traditionally turn-based RPGs, but in a way that doesn't take away from it still being a turn-based RPG. On paper, it's such a minor thing that actually makes a big difference. Even if everything stops when choosing a command, its system has a clever way to make fights feel more realistic since a tough battle would require more effort. Combat involves a system of stacking attacks to knock back the opponent until they are knocked down, leaving them open for more attacks to be powered on them. Second Light isn't the first game to do this but it's strangely exciting. It's so simple but effective. Team Ao names each level Heartscape. These are areas that manifest each character's most treasured memory. They need to be explored by Team Ao to figure out what exactly is going on in this world and what they can actually do about it. This aspect was a bit of a letdown for me. Not every character would get the same amount of attention, but you'll learn enough about them to pass them by as human at first. Second Light tries to make up for this with dates and skits around the school. They serve the purpose of reaffirming a character's evolution, but I would say it feels like a major part of the game that is rather underwhelming. It doesn't add much to a character's background as it should. The thing I loved about the original Blue Reflection is how it's more relatable to have a hero with a selfish wish than a hero who is just saving the world. Gus Tech McCoy corrects the worst thing about the original game. A lackluster setting with boring turn-based commands. It made me interested in it with Ao Hoshizaki's detour on her way to summer classes into another world made of memories. Second Light is rather self-contained, however. You could play the game without having prior knowledge because it's the type of memory Ao and her friends will look back on and say, our summer vacation together, that was something special. 